Right, Tesla day three. So what are we gonna look at today? We've come into work. You can see I'm in the workshop. We're sat here in the workshop. Um, we are gonna try and look at the problem we've got with the right-hand rear camera. Um, so if we put the car, we got the car, got the key card there. If I put the car into reverse, so for those of you new to Teslas like me, you gotta push that little bit up there. You got a little gear indicator here. You can see we've got the reverse, the rear camera. And you can see I've got the left-hand camera. Look out the left-hand door backwards, George. You'll see that is that image there. That's our emergency exit. But you'll see I do not have the right-hand camera. We have a swirldom going on. Now, we know where the rear camera is. Let's jump out and show where the rear camera is, George. Right, so the rear camera is cunningly here. So it is that little bit right in there. So what I want to do is I just want to check that the connections are connected. Are properly connected now I've watched another video on YouTube and you have to just unclip this front wheel arch liner here and um, and then you can pop it out or we might even just bit of feel in and check that there's probably a FACRA connector I've got no idea but they seem to be popular and that's what we had yesterday on the rear trunk lid so we're just going to check that that's connected because it seems silly to drive to Bristol if it's just a connection that I can simply without dismantling the car just clip on um, and that'll be interesting right but um, to do it we really need to get a little bit more room here so I thought why don't we look at just jacking it up as if we had to just take the wheel for a, maybe we've got a, a screw in the tire and we needed to take it for a replacement tire um, how could we do that and that's got us onto the topic George of spare wheels and spare tires so we, 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 we went in, let, let's jump in, and, and one cool thing, cool thumbs up, on the Tesla is the user manual is on the screen. So let's jump in and show everyone the user, and let's look how to jack up a Tesla, and what's the procedure for spare tyre changing and what have you. Back in the car. Right, we're back in the car, right. So if we go on to this car menu, now we've only done this once and George did it for me, but I think I can remember, here we go service and the owner's manual bang is right there um oh that's cool that's wiper service mode i bet it parks them so you can change the change the wipers right then so let's go on to the owner's manual right and we get what looks like now we've already got to jacking and lifting because that's where we were but let's let's go back and let's just show you how to use this so you press the search button hold on right press the search button what am i doing wrong here george there we go right and let's search for jacking because we need to jack the car up so let's go dual not jack right then jacking oh, jacking right and then enter george is twitching he wants to now it comes up a little bit small can we zoom in on that george or have you got a you reckon i can do that oh there we go there we go there we go into right so we've got jacking so it's got its own little thing there for jacking and how many results did it find so it tells you here is only one result so it's only one of one in this whole document for jacking so let's dive into jacking bam right here we go so is that coming up all right on the screen hopefully sometimes it might go a bit no it looks good doesn't it, Josh? yeah um so it says the jacking follow the steps below to lift the model three assure ensure that any non-tesla repair facility that will be us is aware of these lifting points now it now it goes on to say position the model 3 centrally between the lift posts now <laughs> i don't have a lift so but surely you've got to be able to take your wheel off without well if you've got a puncher surely anyway so maybe maybe further down here they've got um on the lifting points warning do not position under the battery or side rails as shown in red so they do quite a good picture here so there's clearly you need to be careful not to lift on what we would call the sill and certainly now like mega warning here do not lift on the floor pan because that's the battery and that's like twenty thousand pounds so um yeah and risk of fire and explosion and so you do have to be careful with these electric vehicles so let's have a look how clear these jacking points are and certainly you need to be super careful where you're taking your tesla to be repaired or jacked um Ensure that they are correctly located. The lift pad with the assistant raise the lift to the um, ensure any lift safety locks. Right, this is another. Never raise the Model Three when the charging cable is connected. So that's key. So don't 
don't think well you've got it parked up and it's on charge you'll do it so disconnect and do not work on an incorrectly supported vehicle yeah so make sure you have got it jacked and additional things so so some really important things to think about with electric cars so it's not just the same as a petrol car the battery is underneath the car the floor plan is out of bounds so do be careful right but then it got us under thinking hold on a minute does this does the tough never even thought does the tesla have a spare wheel so we've read up and it doesn't but what we're going to do is does it have so we've got no tools the only tool you seem to get with your tesla model 3 is a tow eye but you can't tow the cars you've got to be real careful because of the whole battery motor thing and there's some stuff in the user manual we were just reading about that um so you only got a toy so you've got no jack and no spare wheel but let's have a look if in the boot there is space for a spare wheel let's have a look we haven't even looked under that floor so let's just dive there we're, we're, and then we'll get to see if we can lift it safely take that spare take that front wheel off and just look under the wheel arch that's where we're heading right let's jump around the back right using our new lovely tailgate lift switch look at that what a joy that is to use right then lift up that right so there we a little bit of sort of board there picnic table right um we've got our charging lead in there but we're not going to get a spare wheel in there are we um now it did say that you can buy from tesla a puncture repair kit which i think probably comes with some of that aerosol gloop that you inject into the tires um and also a little 12 volt compressor so i guess you could fit that under there but at some point you're going to have to, or someone at some local garage or AA or roadside assistance or whatever is going to have to jack your car up to change your tires. So um, there we go. There's a thing on spare tires and that. So there's no tools in there. The only tool we've got is the tow eye, which is in the frunk, which I've now been told, George, have you seen this? It's not a frunk in the UK. It's a fruit, which is a front boot. But then I'm like, well, the car is an American car. So should it be a, although it's resident in the UK, it's Native American, isn't it? So anyway, we digress. Right, let's get the jack out and have a look where we can safely jack this car up. Right, we are scuppered. So if we look under here, which is tricky because we can't lift it up, so we'll have to do it another day. You can see uh, there is a panel at the end with a hole in it and i want the map but the panel itself is plastic i've just checked it with a magnet obviously i can't show you because i can't lift the car up. so we've watched the video on youtube good thing that youtube and um a guy just gets out casually a jacking pad that locates into that hole so we cannot jack our car until we've got one of these little jacking pads so we are going to have to go and work out where to buy a proper tesla correct jacking pad um, but I will put the link to the guy who's done the video of jacking it so you can see what I mean. We'll try and find that and I'll put the link up there. Right. So what we're going to have to do now is just turn the wheel. So the guy on YouTube who removes this camera, what he does is he says you can jack it all. So we're going to turn the wheel and then we'll colour in the clips we're going to use and we'll pop the clips off and have a look what's going on. Right. So it looks like we've got some plastic so there's a sort of mini mud flap here and it's this wheel arch here. So I think these clips here hold the wheel arch in. Now they're a sort of two part clip. So there's a middle bit. Now I guess you could rotate it, but I can see there's a little, there's a little gap and I'll show you. It looks like I've got to just get that little and sort of get that center pin. As soon as I don't have to get my little fork tool in there. Is that all right? There you go. All right. Right, so, and then we should be able to get, oh, we really need to get him out a bit more. They're like a plastic two-part rivet. There we go, I'm better doing it by hand. There we go, we'll come out a fair bit. So, right, what have we got there? So, can you see that little cut out there, George, at the front? And you can get that little, you can get the screwdriver in there to lift that middle pin. And when you fire that middle pin in, it makes these bits spread apart. It goes, Jump, and that keeps it in genius they used a lot on cars um brilliant here because they don't rust so they can they can sit there they're going to hold it on they're lightweight they're not going to rust so i just need to find out i mean uh, can you spin them well, there you go yeah right then come on come on come on baby that's it that's enough to get my little tool in some tricky little hybrid there you go 
That's it. So that's the two of those out now. Oh gosh, look at the look at the mud we've we've accumulated. So there's another clip underneath, but we're we're not too worried about that. We, that's going to be a, a mud trap. That's three days old. We got some nonsense in there. Right, let me clean that up. Right, so we cleaned it up a bit. Right, so we should be able to get in here, and you can see this is the wheel arch. Now, if I then get behind it, I should. It's sort of stuck in that bottom bit there. I should just be able to. Right, and then we can see in behind. See all the seam wounds. And then up behind here, I can see some wires going across up in there. And that should head over towards this camera up here. Yeah, George is just firing the camera in randomly. Right, so let me see what I can feel up in here. So, now there are some clips on the top. It might be easier for the video just to pop the clips. There's some bottom clips I can feel. I watched the video, that's one of the bottom clips on. That's the two bottom clips. You see the bottoms come out a little bit there, John. And I should be able to fire the, with my little finger. I go on, that's that clip. Right, and then that should allow us to just move that out. Okay, so we can see there that is the, and these are the little clips here. You've got one, two at the top, and one, two at the bottom. So you can see it's just a straight panel opening. There's nothing too clever there. Now we've interestingly got two connectors on here. Now before you unplug, because unplugging and replugging, on this camera system yesterday we got into a bit of a pickle so we should i think what we're going to do george is we're going to remove the thumb drive we'll show you how to do all this we'll put the turn the sentry mode off on the car in fact we should have perhaps done this at the start so before you even go anywhere near this i recommend doing that and then additionally what else are we can do so thumb drive sentry drive and should we turn the power off as well i think that's probably why so let's just go and do that now right so let's turn the sentry mode off before we move the thumb drive so if we go into safety and security, scroll up, sentry mode is off. Okay, and while we're on this screen here, we will hit the power off. Now, power off powers off until you hit the brake. So make sure you've got your foot off the brake. Okay, make sure you've got your parking brake on and you do have to be in parking brake. So, okay, so power off, right, power off, right. Everything's shut down now. Now, can you move the thumb drive, please, George? It's in the back of the glove box. We need to turn it on. Three. Oh, classic fail. Press the brake. There you go. Press the brake, it's back up again. Right, and how do you open the... So, in the setting, glove box. Glove box, there we go. <laughs> right, now, the sentry mode is off. So let's, okay, let's power it off now there from there, George. So wait, hold on, let me, okay. I just thought I'd keep the, right, hold on, here we go. Safety and security power off power off right power off with the glove box open interestingly with power off the glove box light is on random right then so there you go george pull that out somewhere in there there you go there's a little thumb drive which records that's recording the sentry mode records any weirdness it sees around your car as a sort of security measure um and you get it's actually quite clever because that thumb drive is locked in the glove box and you can put a pin number we haven't done that yet have we george no. right so now i am just going to unplug and replug i'm going to do nothing more i don't want to upset tesla or invalidate my warranty but i'm just going to try the classic unplug and replug on that camera connector and put it all back together let's have a look okay so let's just unplug that facra connector it should just be a question of pushing that tab down right okay so there you go that's the facra connector which all looks fine but sometimes a replug may just help it okay so that is the i think that's just the coax signal so this one must be the power to it so let's just have a look how this one goes right to get this power connector off just gently lever in the back of there and that powers that's there you can see that clip in there Okay, so let's just replug those pins look fine. Um, so let's make sure that's plugged in and that's plugged in. And we'll just rest it there for now. And let's go inside, um, select reverse and see if that's working, shall we? Right, represent the card. Right, let's push it up into reverse. Um, let's have a look. 
note so that camera looks totally dead now if I was doing a full investigation I could check the voltage on those pins those two power that power connector there to check it's getting voltage and the second thing I could do is I could try swapping the left camera to the right camera but I just wanted to do the very basics I'm quite happy to let Tesla take a look at that um, so there we go I think we will leave that video there we'll put that back together um, so we haven't managed to fix the camera so we'll get Tesla to look at the camera they've also got to look at the rear door for it the scuffs on the front number plates around um, also raised the question with them about the green number plates should we have the green squares on the number plates so I think that's all we've got to do right I was just putting it all back together and something's occurred to me I don't think this is the cleverest bit of design but you be the judge so if you look at this you can see that the the mud flap is sat beautifully against this rim around here come around the side a little bit Joy. see it all comes around it all sits neat but then you've got this massive gap and it doesn't even step in where the metal panel work ends here and then you've got this big gap now as you drive the water comes off the wheel zoom back a bit join it comes move back a little bit more so the water is going to come off the wheel as you drive and it's all going to fly up against here and run down now as you saw when i took it off i was surprised by the amount of mud that was in there on a three-day-old car now let's have a look at the other side so the other side is virginal it is untouched now the wheels are the wheels are still turned but i think hopefully george you can see already the amount of mud and you can see the gap issue so there it doesn't seem the best bit of design to me we've got a big gap i think it should step back a bit um obviously when we get salt on the roads in the uk there's going to be a lot of sort of debris collecting in this mud flap so um i'm not sure about that there you go right anyway there's tesla we haven't managed to fix the so we will let you know when tesla get in contact with us um because obviously we've reported it to their service center and we're waiting for them to get back to us now um, but we are going to do the video now on the Wi-Fi connection.